Hey guys, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're gonna have a look at the Dead God tuning and I'm gonna show you this musical idea I wrote yesterday. Now in this particular tuning we are going to uh, tune the strings like this. D, A, D, G, A, and D. Now we're gonna break down the whole thing in three different sections. The first one, we're gonna play a B minor, an A major chord, and a G major chord. The second section is played with the strumming and we wanna kind of explore uh, different shapes. We still have a B minor chord, and B and G. B minor and A. And the last section is played with, um, we are in D major key. So we're gonna benefit from playing all these uh, open strings and a better simple melody on one string. Beautiful chord progression. Now the first chord I'm um, playing is the B, the minor chord, and then the A, and then the G. So I'm literally playing um, the B on the A string fret two, another B on the fret four, and then I'm playing a C sharp on the second string fret four and a D on the top E string open. Now this is um, a C minor add nine. We're playing the add nine on the second string fret four. Root note, root note, major nine and minor third. Second chord, the A, beautiful sounding chord. Just a root note, fret six is the major third. The second string is another A and the first string is the add 11, the 11th, so. A add 11 and the G beautiful sounding chord the G add 9 uh, the 6th string for number 5 and then the D string open uh, the G string open and the B string which is now uh, an A is going to make this chord a G add 9 uh, you can play the chords like this 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 I'm playing a simple phrase between uh, the two sections just to diversify things a little bit. On the e, on the first string for number two, four, two, and open. And I'm playing the A string open as the bass. Go back, B, and A, and G. Two, three, and. Now, last time I play uh, this G, I'm gonna play two different shapes. The first one is the one that we learned. And then I'm gonna add the G string fret number four, which is the major third B. It's kind of, you know, just to uh, change the chords, diversify the chords a little bit. And you let, it, you let it ring out. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. Now when we start the chord progression again, we're gonna add a finger picking pattern. Pattern is very simple, just thumb and ring, the middle finger, and the index finger. So I'm picking five and one, two, and three. Then I have the top three strings again, and then just the first and the second. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And we're gonna keep the same picking pattern. For the A, and for the G, I'm changing set of strings and I'm playing the six and two, three and four. And it's the same structure. So it's one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. Now the G lasts uh, twice longer than the other two chords. So we're gonna have two uh, rounds. The first one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then the second one, just one, two, three, one. Um, and then I'm playing the same very simple phrase on the E string for number two, four, two, and open. So when you put the whole thing together,
Now, when you play the second time, we're gonna change the last chord as we are moving into the second section. And so you wanna play the G. You let it ring out and you just pick the bass note in the second string. And then we play the A major chord. So we're gonna go up on the fret number seven, sixth string and the G string fret number six, and you just strum the whole thing. I'm muting the A string, so I'm only strumming six, four, three, two, and one. So. And we move into the second section. Now in this section, I'm gonna show you how we can actually strum these beautiful chords. I'm still playing B minor. So sixth string fret number nine, D string open, the G string fret number seven, and then the second and the first string open. So the B minor. Down, up, down, down, up. The second chord is the A, fret seven, nothing, open, fret six, open, open. And then the G, with just five, nothing, open, four, open, open. The strumming pattern is very simple. I kind of change it all the time. Uh, you just wanna keep it just really simple. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now the second time you play, uh, just make sure that you uh, play the last chord, the G, and you let it ring out as we moving into the third section. So the second section is really just about strumming these few chords and kind of give a different vibe um, playing the same chord progression. Now in the third section we are going to play a beautiful, beautiful sounding melody. It sounds like this. So I'm now playing a D chord. So the top E string, um, fret number four, is now an F sharp. So I'm playing sixth string, which is the D, and then the major third, and then the G, sorry, the, the second string open, and the third string open. Now the picking pattern is very simple. You have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're playing just the 6th uh, uh, and 1st, 2nd and 3rd, and then the same pattern on the top 3 strings for 3 more times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a total of 4 patterns, the first one played with the thumb. And then the melody on fret 4 and 7. I will go to fret number 2 and change the bass note with the A string open. Same pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two and five, same melody, same shape. B minor, two, three, four. And this time we have the melody on the first string and the fret number four. And the last chord, the G, uh, string six and two, then three and then four. So it's one, two, three, four. Same phrase on fret 2, 4, 2, and open. And we'll go back to play the same melody. So we're just playing the melody on the fret number 7, 5, and 4. And the second chord. And then 5, 4, 2, B minor. And the melody on fret um, four, two, and open. And the last chord. And you can go again. Now, how we're gonna end this? There are a lot of different ways we can end uh, such a beautiful melody. We finish with the G chord, 
Mm. You could just let the G ring out. Two, three, and then play the A. And play the B minor chord. Or you could just go back to the same arpeggio. So, two, three. So that's it guys, this is how we can play things in that gut, some of the uh, things that I like to play. Uh, pretty simple stuff, we don't have to play you know, crazy things or uh, search for um, you know, crazy chords. Uh, it's a very simple approach, uh, feel free to grab this chord progression and then just learn it, change it and come up with your ideas. Make sure that you tune your guitar a lot because you know, first it's going to uh, get out of tune many many times so make sure that you keep tuning and don't forget to write things down or record the things that you uh, play in this alternate tuning uh, because it's easy to forget things when you start playing around with an alternate tuning so I leave you practicing this guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time